You must have seen a lot of video to painting effects like this. How is this sort of effect realized? What functions are used? Now we're introducing the new feature, Comfy UI to achieve this effect. Do you get confused when seeing these nodes? What's this and what's that? In fact, Comfy UI is similar to our web UI in the operations. Compared with web UI, Comfy UI is freer and faster to generate images. Comfy UI is an operating flow based on nodes. You can edit the node of a certain part to achieve more precise control over the image and combine different nodes to form various generation methods. Besides, you may save your workflow in Comfy UI and share it with others. They can reuse your workflow in this way. Although Comfy UI features many advantages, it's a little complex to do the actual operation. Don't worry. By following CART guides, you can advance to a Comfy UI master from a newbie. Now let's get to know how to start a Comfy UI workflow. Open CART and tap Comfy UI. Create Comfy UI. Before we start, think of how we generate images in Web UI. We usually select a model, enter the prompts, adjust parameters, and tap Generate. Take a look at the TXT2MG nodes in Comfy UI. Checkpoint on the left is the base model selected at the beginning. The two prompts in the middle are positive and negative prompts. You can right-click on the prompt title and select Title to edit it. The right side is the sampler. Here you can edit various parameters. This mainly controls the seed generation. As for the scheduler, we usually select normal or Karas. Denoise. It represents the noise removal strength in TXT2IMG. Higher value has a greater influence on the image. All the above parameters correspond with those in Web UI. You can adjust them based on your needs. You can also edit the image size and batch size of the generated images. The further right is VAE decode and image generation. In theory, the input parameters will progress through the latent space and get processed by VAE before generating the final images. After learning about nodes, how can we build these nodes? First, build the core, sampler. Right-click and select Add Node, Sampling, K Sampler. Then you can see there are several dots of different colors. Drag the dots out and add different nodes. Except dragged out nodes, there are some other nodes that are not connected. Let's connect these nodes based on their colors. Attention! As many checkpoints already contain VAE, we usually connect VAE to the checkpoint. You can also add a new VAE if need be. Besides, if you want to add a LoRa, you can find LoRas in loaders, which mainly load diffusion models of the generated images. Connect the checkpoint to the LoRa. At last, it is recommended to add a last layer, which controls the skipped layers and adjusts the details of the generated images. It's the same as clip skip in the web UI. Now we've built a TXT2IMG workflow. The overall order is checkpoint, LoRa, clip skip, prompts, sampler and image size and batch size, VAE and image saving. Now let's try generating an image. Do the same operations as in the web UI. Select a checkpoint, load a LoRa, enter positive and negative prompts, adjust relevant parameters, and edit the image size and batch size. As we've selected the SDXL model, the image size is recommended to be 1024, Dundo 24. At last, tap generate and the Comfy UI workflow is done. If you don't want to build nodes yourself, you can apply others templates to generate images with just one click. We'll keep updating a series of Comfy UI guides in the future. Welcome to follow us and learn how to use Comfy UI together. Leave us a message if you have any questions.